No, it is not a late April Fool's joke. I actually paid 30 euros or about 32 bucks for a font called Comic Code. This video is also not sponsored or paid by anyone. I paid for the font from my own pocket and at my own volition. So that begs the question, why on earth would you spend 32 bucks on a font, let alone a monospace version of Comic Sans? Let's discuss. If you spend a lot of your time in front of the computer, in a terminal, or in an IDE, you probably have your favorite monospace font. For some people it's JetBrains Mono, for some it's Fire Code, maybe for you it's Iosifka. My personal favorite is Cascadia Code, or at least it was before I came across this Twitter post. I don't know, something about this font just felt comfy and warm. It felt like home, like a cup of hot green tea with honey. So I asked AOP what font they were using and the answer mortified me. Comic code? Is that really a thing? Well, turns out that it is. Comic code was made by Toshi Omagari, a Japanese typeface designer based in London. Toshi himself describes the font as an apologetic admittance of Comic Sans positives and a literal manifestation of code like nobody's watching. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you might remember this video that I made last year in which I included Comic Mono. And unlike Comic Code, Comic Mono is free, so what makes the former so special? Well, Comic Mono is a fork of another Comic Sans inspired monospace font called Comic Shans, which as far as I know was just meant as a gag and only includes the regular version, so no bold or italic variants. Comic Mono is basically an improved version of Comic Shans with a bold variant generated by FontForge and Bolden script and slightly tweaked character width. Still, Comic Mono misses a few crucial features, like an italic version, support for Cyrillic characters or diacritics, so stuff like acute, umlauts, tilde, and so on. It also doesn't support programming ligatures, which I personally like. I know that some people don't like them, and they definitely have their own reasons. I feel like both Comic Shans and Comic Mono were meant kind of as a joke more than a serious font. And to be fair, the author of Comic Mono states that they're not really a font face developer. I mean, even in my terminal font video, I mostly included Comic Mono as a joke. Toshi Omagari, on the other hand, is very serious about comic code. Not only does his font include 30 different styles, each one of them manually drawn from scratch, it also features programming ligatures, diacritics, as well as support for Cyrillic, Greek, and other alphabets. Toshi says that comic code merely takes inspiration from Comic Sans and was drawn entirely from scratch which is a level of dedication that I can only respect. One more thing that I learned from Toshi Magari's description of Comic Code is that Comic Sans is actually very easy to read for people with dyslexia. It's no secret that fonts with irregular characters are easier to read for dyslexic people, and Comic Sans is, well, very irregular. Furthermore, a lot of fonts use mirroring to create new characters. For example, in a lot of fonts, P is just a mirrored Q, whereas Comic Sans only has two mirrored characters, D and B. Because of that, a lot of reputable dyslexia organizations in the world recommend Comic Sans as the optimal font for dyslexic readers. In her article for the establishment, Lauren Hudgens writes, There are fonts that have been specifically created for people with dyslexia, all of which lack the clean minimalism or elegant balance and perfect kerning favored by typography snaps. Snaps. There are fonts that have been specifically created for people with dyslexia, all of which lack the clean minimalism or elegant balance and perfect kerning favored by typography snobs, but they are crucial disability aids. But for Jessica, Lauren's sister, Comic Sans is still the best. I don't use Open Dyslexic because it's not as easy for me to read, Jessica says. It's not my font. I was dyslexic before Open Dyslexic happened. My mind has been getting used to Comic Sans. When it comes to comic code, even though Toshi Magari didn't purposely make it for dyslexic readers, it seems to be as effective for that as Comic Sans. Speaking of which, while I didn't necessarily intend while making it, Comic Code seems to perform just as effectively for dyslexic readers as Comic Sans, judging by the response. So if you're struggling with readability in your terminal or IDE, you should definitely give Comic Code a go. Now let's address the elephant in the room. The main reason people hate Comic Sans is, well, because it's ugly. It looks goofy and out of place pretty much everywhere except for Comic Strip, maybe. Comic Code, on the other hand, it just, it just hits differently. When I switch back to normal terminal fonts, the text feels soulless, cold, dead, robotic. When I use a regular monospace font, I feel like I'm writing code. But when I use Comic Code, I feel like I'm programming. Comic Sans might feel out of place in a user interface or in a poster, but in a terminal environment, Comic Code feels alive. At least for me. 
And even though I'm not dyslexic, at least not that I know of, I find it much easier to read than most programming fonts. One last thing that I want to mention is that Comic Code doesn't come with power line glyphs or icons. So if you use EXA, Airline, or any other terminal applications that rely on those glyphs, you'll need to patch the fonts with Nerd Fonts Patcher. It's not super hard and the instructions are included in the repo. So, do I think that everyone should switch to Comic Code right now? No. But if you find traditional programming fonts hard to read, or if you're just looking for something different, give it a try. You can get a demo version from myfonts.com and there's a coding essentials version that includes all the basic variations which you can buy for just $25. So that's gonna be it for this video and as usual I do want to thank my patrons. Mitchell Valentino, David Love, Catherine DC, Laserbat, Morzen Networked, Remus Iliash, Robot Dream of Crypto, <coughs> Robot Dream of <coughs> Robot Dream of Crypto, <coughs> Prometheus, and everyone else who supports this channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.